is Misty here, and I am here to do some embellishing and things in my journals that I have been creating for our our artology. <laughs> I gave Doc. Uh, I've done something. I've I've sewed them in. I added a little book plate and just a few other things. But I want to do some different some different things, some um, embellishing and stuff in these journals. And you can get a little look through as I'm doing this. So I want to, um, what do I want to do? Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. I think doing a little stenciling in here is going to look good. You know, like I've got this one here. And it, I, I might add my phone ringing. Um, do just a little, some different stenciling. Let's see. While I'm going through these, you guys check out Deb. She, I have her everything linked below. The, uh, why was it? Oh, there it is. Um, her YouTube channel, I have her, um, Etsy shop and all the other designers linked down below as well. So make sure you go check them out. Now I have some stencil here and I want to just add some color. I don't want this to be all vintage and all of that. Um, I'm going to use this binder clip to hold my page back. And I'm going to use a little washi tape as well to hold down my stencil. So it doesn't move while I'm uh, adding it to my um, to my page. So just a little washi tape, I think, is going to do what I need it to do. All right. So there's all kinds of different colors throughout this book. But I think I'm going to use, what is this? I don't know if I want to use that or not. That's purple. I don't want to use purple. Oops. I'm knocking everything over. Well, I'm going to use always artichoke. To add some color in here and I'm just going to do a little stenciling just to add a little color I don't want um, I don't want you know kind of vintage I don't want all of that I just want Little pops of color. I want to keep it bright, but not super bright. You know what I mean? And stenciling is a way to do that. Now, you can use different colors. I'm just using uh, one color. You can use, you know, use greens. On just the little um, leaves and stuff, or you can, and you then use different other colors for the flowers. But I'm just going to use one color. I want to keep this simple. And stenciling is something new for me. I've never stenciled, and I really enjoy doing it. I think it's a great way to add color to your just your plain white pages without getting all having to tea stain and all of that. And it's good for beginners. You can buy stencils pretty cheap anymore. You can use your die cuts. When you die cut, you can use the negatives for stenciling as well. So... And which I do do that too. I, I keep my negatives. 
for, excuse me, stenciling is cheap and you don't have to go out and spend money. All right, so there is my stenciling. I'm going to take up my tape here. And see, there is some color on that page without having to add too much to it. That looks really cool, actually. I like that. So that page is embellished with just something simple. And let's see. I want to add something else to it. Oh, there's my pen. So I could easily take this. Just a little file folder, and I could put it. No, I don't want that on there. Let's add this paper clip I made. Okay, and then tuck this here so you have a little something without taking too much away from the page. You know what I mean? God, I hope so, because I'm confusing myself today. So I've got some other little things stuck in here as well. I have this page here, and I've got a book. Uh-oh. Okay. That I've got some little pages and things that I've taken out. I'm just going to grab a few. And then I'm going to set this book to the side. And I'm going to add some of these things in. This is just out of uh, um, oh, think, Misty, think. Out of a magazine that I had gotten, a book I had gotten, actually. And I wanted to use some of these pictures in here. So I think what I want to do is take this and glue here and glue here and use it as a tuck spot. And then you can add something on top if you wish, you know, but I'm not going to. Like I said, I want to keep this simple, but I want it to, I want it to look right like now you have a place that you could tuck some ephemera in you know little tabs tags and stuff you can just tuck in there you have this piece here here is another pocket that i put in there and i've got some little journaling cards in there as well um let me see I have all kinds of embellishments that I have made that I want to use in here. Now I have this little file folder I made into a tuck, a pocket anyway, not a tuck. And I'm going to glue it down here at the edge. So now you have another tuck spot, and then you have a pocket. Let's see, what else can I put in here? Um, you know, like this here can go here. Um, I have several different things that I have in my little basket here that I can use for pockets and things. And then I still have a bunch of stuff of Debs as well. And I'm trying to be smart in how I use it because I have three other journals to embellish. So, let me set that to the side. Let's see, we're going to go ahead and flip through. And I'm not going to do all the embellishing. Um, 
because I want to make sure that I have enough um, enough to go throughout all these other journals. Like I said, there's four of them. I want to make sure there is enough for all four, and I'm sure there is. So this is one of Deb's skinny tags. That's going to be great as a little tuck. So now you could take something and tuck in through here to hold something. I think I want to glue the top here, though. There we go. So there's a pocket. And like I said, I'm going to do more. I'm just messing about here. Now that would look cute there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to add some glue here. Some glue here. And now you have a little belly band that you can stuck. Stuck. You can put stuff down in. I'm not going to do anything with this. You have the music sheets. I don't think I'm going to do anything with that right now. So, I, you know, that's all I'm doing. I'm just going through and looking and see what else I can add to my journal here. Like I have this little piece of paper that could go here to add some interest. like that really something simple and cute to add i have this here which i don't know if i want to do anything with it for the moment um let's see i have this little piece that i could put here and it could be a little little pocket so let's go ahead and add this and I think I'm just gonna make it like a little little tuck so I'm gonna put it on this side and now you have a place that you could just tuck something down in there so put that there and I think I want to glue this down because this can be a little tuck and plus you can write around it too like that and maybe take this little flag and put here or maybe i got another flag i do i have another flag so i'm just going to leave that for the moment okay so there is one like i said i'm not going to completely embellish this because i want to leave something for when i go to uh Flip through something that you can look at and, and uh, see different, actually. Now, this here, I left this like this because I want this to be a pocket. So, I'm going to glue this here. And now, there's a pocket here. And I think I want to use this here. I'm going to put it here. Uh, yeah, I think I want to put it there. And this is going to be a tuck as well. So we're just going to put that there. And I'm doing it like this. So you see that embellishing your journals don't have to be so complicated. Um, it could be done simply or it can be done you know, more extravagant. It's whatever you want to do. Now, I've got some pages that I took out of some books, as I had said, and I want to put some of those in this as well, some little ephemera pieces that is going to look amazing in here. 
just one moment. I need to go check and see what the dude's doing. Just one moment. Okay, guys. So I have some of these little ephemera pieces. Well, they're they're out of a book, and I think I want to use these in here as well. And I think I want to put it right here, just to be different, because I'm always putting stuff in the corners and all of that. I want to do. Something just a little different. Put it there. And then I've got this tab I want to use in here too. And I will. I'm just seeing what all I have. So the dude took all of my acrylic stuff that I had put up in my room and dumped it all over. So now I have no acrylic for my nails. That little kid doesn't stay out of anything. So that has got me all flustered. All right. So I want to take just pieces of paper and I just want to glue it to give my page some interest so I'm not covering up the page but I'm just adding a little something and this is Deb's from her collage paper that I got for last month and didn't use it and I've been having a lot of fun just placing this in random places in my journals yeah, it's a truck. All right. So, as you see, look, it's not plain white anymore. You have this little piece here. And then you can add whatever you want. Like, um, whoops, I'm making a mess. I don't want to add a yellow one. I know I've got some other little, like, flower pieces. Like this here. No, I don't want to add that. Okay. So, let's see. I have this page here. 
that I want to add something on. And I think this will be just perfect right there as a pocket. Go. And then something like this could be tucked right in there as well. Um, let's see. I have this here that I could put in here as a tuck. So now there is a little tuck and you can take some, ex some little pieces here about flowers and stick in there like that. Some tea dyed paper. Here's my center. And I'm not sure what I want to do with that. So I'm just going to leave that blank. Um, I think I want to put this here and use a paper clip that I have made. I don't want to use that one. I have some simpler paper clips. Is it in this one here? Nope. Where is my other drawer? I have another drawer around here with stuff in it. I just don't know where I put it. Oh, I see it. And there ain't nothing there. Okay. Here's a paper clip. So I just want to take this index card that I made and I want to stick it right here. There we go. So now the page is it covered. You can take this off. You can journal on it. And you can journal on this here too. And it has a tab. So let's see. Let's see. What are we going to do here? Here, I want to add some more of this paper here. And I think this time I just want to put it right here. And you can still journal on this paper. I think it's really going to... Little boy, clean them chips up off that floor right now. There we go. It just adds to, you know, I tell you guys that all the time. I don't know why I keep repeating myself. But there is a little, little something. It's been a day, you guys. It's been a day already. There's another page. I think I'm going to leave that like that. And I got this page here. I don't want to do that. Let's see. I think I want to put this here. Just to add a little something to this page. Without um, adding lace and stuff. It's kind of weird not adding lace and things to my to my journal, but I wanted to do some simple ones. Okay. And then here is the other side. This is going to be another pocket. And I want to definitely add something to this. And I know I have plenty of little things of Deb's steel. Like I have that there. I have and where's my other thing at? I have this here. I forgot about that. And I have this here. 
So I think I left this like this, and I did that for a reason. I think what I want to do is take and put this here, and then it will flip up, I think. I think that's going to look good, and that's what I'm going to do. Let me trim this down a little bit, though. All right. There we go. And now... This can be flipped up, and you can journal extra here, and then all this journaling spot. Okay. All right, so there is a little embellishing here. And I have one more I want to do a little embellishing in. And, oh, this in here is just, I really like all the different colors in this one. So I think I want to put this here. Remember, I don't know if I did this on camera or not, but it's my little trifold. And I think I want to do... That like that. Still leave it to where you can use it as a little tuck as well. So what I mean is, let me find something to where the, you can still stick something in there if you wish to. And then you have this here. And I should have some. I do. I have some Velcro here. And I think I want to put it right here. That way, it can be opened, and then you can close it, and it's going to stay closed. So, now this here I put in here because you can journal here, and then I have this side that I can put something on if I wish to. Now, this here definitely needs something. And let's see. I have this, and I think I want to put it here, and it can be used as a little tuck. Or a pocket. Something like that. All right, guys. We go. Now, if you guys give me just one more minute, because he's back in my room again. And I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so now we have this little pocket here, and it's not so plain, you know what I mean? And then we have this here, and I think I'm going to take this tab, and I'm going to put this tab in here as well, and I think I'm going to put it here. I think that's going to look amazing. There we go. So there's a tab. And I'm going to add, like I said, I'm going to add other things. I'm just not going to do it all on camera. Because I want something to be left. 
all that's gonna look I think I'm gonna put that there I think it's just gonna add a little something to it I think that's gonna look really nice really 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 all right let's see what else this looks a little little plain so let's tear this down a little bit and i'm gonna put this probably up here on the top so let's get some glue on this There we go. And there, that just adds a little something to the page. Let's see. Do that. I have this page. And I've got more of these sheets. And I think I want to take and use. Where'd it go? Huh. Here. And I think I want to take this and put it right, right here. I'm going to have to fill my glue up again. Okay. There we go. I love that. That is pretty. Pertimus. Okay. Let's see. And we have this here, which I want to take. And tear this piece so I can put it there. I know this isn't in frame. For the most part, but and then I want to put this here or put it up here. I think up there is going to look good. So just add some glue and put this down. I love how simple these journals are, but they're so pretty. Even, even with what little I have done, I think they are so pretty. There we go. Huh? What's down the toilet? Just a moment again, guys. That scares me. That really scares me. Oh, the to oh, okay, okay. Yeah, good job, baby. Okay, guys. Yay! Woo! All right. So I have that. I have that. And that. And this. Let's see. I have this here. Got that. Let's see what else do I have in here. Ooh, I forgot I have a couple of those pockets. Let's take that out. 
Ooh. There's a couple more. I can use those in other places in my journals. Okay. So, I could take what? Oh, well, good for you. Mm. Let me see. Let's take and fold this in half. Now, I want to try something. What? All right, come here. Uh, there you go, bud. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Okay. Yes, that's underwear. How about if we take one of these envelopes, these little envelope pockets, and add it into, let's say, the center? Where's the center? Like, put it here. I think it's going to look good. I made this a while back. I thought this would be really cute. It's just napkin. A napkin I had, and I glued it. I sewed it. Well, I glued it, and then I sewed it with my sewing machine. And I thought it was really cute. So, I'm going to add it in there. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can still make these pockets. Okay, so now that has something in it. All right. This is really looking, I mean, really cute, guys. I'm really loving this journal. Let's see. Let's go back through. Maybe I can find something else I want to add. I could add that and then put, hmm, I don't know. Hmm. I think I want to add something like this. Put this here and you can still write on it. That'll look cool. At least I think it'll look cool. All right. I hope I'm not boring you guys to death. I just get really focused. and It's a good habit, but it's not good when you're recording. It's not really good at all. Bear. You want Masha Bear? Masha Bear. You know, the reason I moved in here was to keep him out of things while I recorded. But that doesn't work out too well sometimes. So, all right. I think this is looking awesome. So, obviously, there's still some other things that I could be doing in these two. I'm just not going to do it on camera. So stuff son so that is all for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope i had not bored you too much um thank you for joining me today i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and as always guys goodbye god bless and i'll see y'all again soon